Roger, we are green light for extraction. Ammo weapons resupply inbound. Lies on HVT, going loud. Welcome back to Air Spot On Demand, I'm Kristen. And I'm Jake. And today we're reviewing the Wii 1911 Nighthawk Airsoft Gas Gun. Alright, yeah, and you can find this on our website for the black version for $119.99, and we got the silver version over here for $124.99. Alright, so we did a really great job with this 1911 replica. Um, gave it a ton of great features, uh, and it's actually incredibly capable. Um, I used this, I, uh, I ran, ran a few tests with it, I get on average about 315 feet per second and it was pretty accurate out to 80 and 90 feet so definitely uh, definitely something that I would consider carrying. Absolutely, so to go over some of the features um, it does have the functional thumb and safety grips much like the real 1911 um, full metal construction obviously and it comes with a single stack magazine um, aside from that it just it's got a lot of really authentic looking trademarks it uh, I think it did a really good job replicating an actual 1911 yeah. All right. So specifically, what we're looking at is the Nighthawk version of this uh, version of this pistol. Now, uh, it does have Knight's Armament trades on there, and then the actual the real steel pistol was developed by uh, Night Nighthawk Customs, uh, and you can actually have that stamp right there on the lower frame. Again, just adding that much more authenticity. Now, we also claim that this is using their third generation MegaFlow internals. Um, I don't know very too much about that, but I imagine we'll be seeing more of that in their pistols to come. So we actually designed this to go with their PDW uh, blowback rifle. Um, you get It's pretty cool, you get the Novak rear sight and the precision barrel, so a little better quality than previous models. Uh, so. As well as some, like the machining on the uh, slide and everything and the grip is just kind of, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely replicates what the what the Wii uh, Knight's Armament PDW has. Mm -hmm. Now, I, what I also really, really liked about this, um, with their with the MegaFlow um, parts that they're starting to install, you get a really nice recoil with it, and it still keeps the uh, still keeps the velocity pretty uh, pretty consistent. Yeah, definitely a little recoil, not quite as much as my real 1911, but no. we'll take you it. Don't say. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, um, we had about 320 feet per second to start out with on a fresh full magazine. Um, now, obviously we saw it go down as that gas is being expended. Um, sadly, we doesn't have uh, an NS2 system that KWA has, so it's a lot less efficient with gas. But you definitely have enough gas in there to run through that entire magazine, so that's definitely a positive compared to a lot of single stack magazines. Now we'll actually take him to the practical shooting test and uh, we'll go from there. Overall, um, I really like it. I've told you guys a million times I'm partial to 1911s. Um, this one in particular, I'm digging it. Um, I'm going to say a 4 out of 5. Um, I don't know, it handles well, it's got a little bit of recoil, it's accurate enough, um, and I think that it's a good price for what you're getting, definitely. Yeah, I'm going to have to give it uh, three and a half out of five. I mean, I like it, they did a great job with it as far as the features go. I'm still an enormous fan of KJW and KWA, and it would take a lot for we to really step it up to sell me their brand before either one of the, those other two. None, nonetheless, they did a great job with this pistol. Um, you know, I would probably recommend it to anyone, but if you want my personal opinion, I'm still I'm still a KGW and KWA fan. Alright guys, well, thanks for tuning in to Airspot On Demand. I'm Kristen. And I'm Jake. We'll see you next time. So, we... Nice 1911 replica. We had. We need to give him more space in between that. I know. I know.
That is, that is what we got. Okay.